How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Poor Investor. So today I'm going to give you a quick update on my Chia Farmer and what the hell happened in the last two days. It stopped sinking and I couldn't figure out why for the longest time. I thought it was my firewall. I thought it was the Windows host enabling the firewall again on a, on a security update or something like that. But it wasn't the case. It wasn't even that at all. And I kept looking at the client. I'm looking at the version that I'm sitting at. And I was like, the last thing I want to do is revert back to a lower version because it was working perfectly fine for days, um, months, and whatever it was. And I was like, oh my goodness, what the hell is going on? So lo and behold, I go on to Reddit and I start seeing a post from another gentleman that says, well, my farmer isn't syncing. My wallet hasn't synced and I can't do anything about it. And even before I saw that particular post, I was on my farmer just investigating what the hell is going on, checking my firewall, my router. Uh, and actually, uh, for the longest time, I used to, when we first set up Chia, we had, I had opened up port 8444, but that is no longer the case. I, I actually uh, removed that and the farming, because I'm farming to a pool, I believe when you're doing it solo, it's a little different on, on the uh, interaction that it's required from the farmer. But when you're connecting to the pool, uh, it's really not necessary. So that's how I've been operating. So I'm thinking like, I, I don't think I need to re-enable allowing uh, 8444 to communicate with my farmer, right? Because because this is what's causing the syncing issue. But no, that was not the case. So let me show you guys really quick what happened to me. Uh, so this is the payout from my pool, which is on XCH pool. And I, for the last, you know, between the 13th, 14th and 15th, which was today, I, I lost, you see, I, I dropped tremendously. So let me just pull up my wallet my farmer really quick and i just want to go to the farming when i was looking at this for the last two days everything was just like not connecting right this was n not green check marked it was i, I believe it was red it, it, it tried attempting numerous times and all this information was just blank it was no information there's no last block one there was no uh, you know, how much I farmed and all that other nonsense that's on here that you see right now. So what ultimately happened, right? So what I eventually ended up doing was going into the advanced settings and looking at this and I'm like, okay, what, what can I do here? There's like really not much you can actually do besides manipulate like the profiles and looking at how you want to see things. And I click on the advanced and I see this resync button. And I'm thinking like, if I click on this thing, at first I was like, maybe I shouldn't click on it anymore. Or no, maybe I shouldn't click it because I don't know what's going to happen. Do, does it resync from the beginning of the blockchain from zero all the way to where it is now, which took over two plus years. So I'm reading and I'm like, okay, keeps everything, it should be fine. So I decided to click it after some time, after some thought. I didn't even bother looking up, you know, going on to the Chia forum or Reddit or Facebook or, or even Discord. I just said, you know what, screw this. I, I don't have time to look it up. I'm going to just resync it. What else can go wrong at this point? I already lost two days. So I said, okay. And I, I, as soon as I click resync, I'm looking at my tokens. Everything just zeroes out, right? Because obviously there's nothing there. Uh, when you're resyncing, my holiday coins, all four of them, gone, zero. And I let it sync. It, it went on for, it, it, apparently it didn't take long from where it needed to sync. I don't know how it defined that, but it didn't take long. And I, and I kept seeing the, the sync um, countdown or whatever it was, you know, all this, I think it was this, right? Full no connection. No, that's not the full, that's not the syncing. But let me just go back to the camera. So I'm seeing all the syncing happen. Uh, it didn't take too long, but it eventually you know caught back up and and everything turned green again so what was my problem i i don't know i mean i'm, I'm reading one thing where people find out that they're not syncing and decide to like open up all these random ports that it's asking for or put onto a dmz don't ever do that don't ever ever do that if you had it working prior uh to doing that there's no reason to do it right because i don't believe uh, Chia or the application is going to switch on you where it requires additional ports or other random ports because it's pretty defined what, what ports is going to communicate on. So you can see all that. There's no need to put it on open 
right, to the public, basically. And that's how certain people got hacked. Now, the other thing is, uh, for the longest time, I've never had any problems with the application. So I'm not sure why or what caused Chia Network to put that resync button into the application, right? It was never there before. I never, know, never noticed it because I never had to use it. So my my question is, why have that? Has other people been experiencing so much that you need to manually click on a resync while the application should be syncing with the blockchain automatically as soon as you launch it, right? Because there used to be a time when you click on it, it if, let's just say you, you shut down your application for a few hours or a few days and you open it back up, it should automatically resync. You shouldn't have to go into the advanced options and then click on resync manually well at least not from what i remember so now it's like okay so now there's another feature that i probably would need to utilize as soon as i figure out that or i find out that my wallet isn't syncing correctly so that's pretty much it uh as far as my update and right now let's see oh ah yeah i, I want to show you guys uh you know since i'm already here let's let's do this xch you know, it's been a, a minute. So let's go over here. Mm, price has been coming back up. It was taking a dip because uh, I believe uh, there was someone saying that uh, Bitcoin was taking a, a dip. Uh, it was in the 26th, it's back up to the 27th now. So 0.2% uh, down for the day, it's not too bad. But let's see over here, you see this dip? Oh my goodness, it went down to 25 in the last day, the 14th, which was yesterday. It's like, what the hell happened over here, guys? Anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring you um, some updated news on my current situation. Hey, just like you, I run into the same crap, right? And this is not even like doing any GPU stuff. This is just me having my farmer and the hard drive sitting there and not doing anything. And it just decided not to sync anymore. No clue why. No clue why. All right. So thank you guys. And please remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.